It oh, works oh, hard. Huh? It's a nine to five yeah. or a blue well, what's collar. The name of, what's the name of Leon? Muldigger. No, Leon. Oh, men, uh, men in blue. Okay, I just want to get that straight. So for what? For my yeah, make sure you my lie when he gets together. over here. Uh, he so doesn't travel with the team. Is that what you're telling me, Dan? He said he was late, and uh, if he, he took had Wally's chance, advice, he's all dressed up in a suit and everything. There's the yeah. manager. There's Jim Fry. The Fry baby. He just disappeared down the hallway. That's right. I can I can do a pretty fair impersonation on Fry. Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. I just want one game at a time. Any of you guys that say we're going to worry about the first two, you're going to throw you all in the bottom of the river. Ladies and gentlemen, Les Crabs doing a fry baby thing. <laughs> uh oh, here comes a woman who knows us. Thank God somebody knows us here. Pardon me? Sure. Come over and say hello. You want to take your picture with Steve? Steve Dole, yes. I of course. Love it. How are right you? Here at the shooting. <laughs> How are you? The people oh, place. You guys, what? Oh, yeah, you guys from Berwyn. From Berwyn? Yes. Berwyn. Yeah, hey. We're going to win. But now you live in San Diego? No, now I live at Pittsburgh. University of Pittsburgh. Oh. Graduate school. Sports medicine. Well, how come they're 0-4? Who's 0-4? Sports all in medicine. Pitt. Pitt. Yeah. Les, how come Slow it's... Slow start. Why do you know all this <laughs> stuff? Coach Fazio is having a tough they're season. Biologies. They're so bad they can't even beat their wives, those that are married. <laughs> but seriously. Les Gromstein, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so you're here from Pittsburgh for this? Huh? And that's your, who's that? This is a friend of mine. From Berwyn. Mm -hmm. Willie, please take my picture oh. with me. Willie from Berwyn. <laughs> What's more huh? I think the cocktail's more important, Willie, but she All wants right. the picture, so that might be more important Maybe tonight when you get right. back to the hotel. You better take a second one just in case. Okay. Let's, say, let's go for the insurance shop. Wish you all were here. You're missing a good party. <laughs> Where is it? Huh? Yeah, live. I guess we're missing it too. We want to go to it too. Mark, come say hello to everybody at Darts. Go to Pub Time Darts in Algonquin, Illinois. Pub Time All Darts. Boys, make sure they're working hard today. Do you, you, you make darts? Electronic dart game. If you're in Berwyn, you hang out at Salerno's much? Oh yeah. Great place. In. Garvin, I'm the owner of the Garvin, Garvin Berwyn. Garvin, Windsor and right. East. Windsor and East. How did people in Berwyn get enough money to fly out here? Went to the 38 the series, 45, and the 84 I'm also going to. All those Sox fans in that tavern eating their hearts out? You're, you're in Cub Country when you come in my tavern, definitely. We got signs in there, and we just love them. We're dancing in the streets there the last two days, and we're going to dance in the streets. Of course, that's dangerous, sir, in Berwyn, because those old we people there can't see. Bring them in. They might hit you with their cars. He's, what, you, he's been to a lot of these, huh? And... Well, I got my, I got my friends here, and this is really going to be it. Biggest Mom, I missed you. Sorry, you time. couldn't come out to the game. Party. All right, and everybody at the Garvin, hello. The Garvin, Garvin, Garvin. That's Garvin. Gar oh, <laughs> Garvin, the Garvin. <laughs> and and you, you went to what other? Uh, I went to the 38 series, the 45. 1938. Right. <laughs> How old are you? You don't look that old. Well, I'm 54 right now, so. <laughs> 38. You must have been I pretty was eight young. Eight years old, yeah. right? Now I'm Man. 54. I was uh, 14 at the time, and 54 is going to be the year. We're going to take them all. Get our revenge. 84. On Detroit. 84, you mean? <laughs> Don't confuse him. <laughs> I'm He's from Berwyn. He thinks it's 1954. We're going to get him an 84 revenge. Sweet revenge. All right. <laughs> that guy's lived through about 60 pope regimes. <laughs> okay, let's take care Did of. Did you some get to bins. say hello to your mother, woman from Pitt? Mm -hmm. Georgia Rindek, I love you. I miss you. I wish you were here. You're missing a good time. So yeah, we're on right now. <laughs> we're not practicing here, sir. Let's this is take, not for our health. Let's take care of Hey, well, what happened to Leon stuff? Durham? He had to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bull had to you know, go. We've had so much respect among the ball players. Yeah, yeah Mass. Yeah, tell him I said hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anybody else out there that you can see, Les? Fry Baby, anybody? Right now, no. Thaddeus Zimmer Bosley. Was out there, but we already talked to him. So. Zimmer, Popeye, yeah. hey, our old friend Don Zimmer. Well, we'll talk to him again. <laughs> See if I got there goes George Frazier, the big tall fellow in the green shirt. He's a relief pitcher. Trainer right? Tony Garofalo. Is he a fighter? What? Well, go get some. Go see who you can get. Get Tony Garofalo. We'll talk to him. I'm sure he'll talk to us. He's just a trainer. <laughs> uh oh, here comes Harry Carey. Now we'll have some fun. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh holy cow. What's our, what's our commercial situation? Harold Carroll. Well, we have to talk to Harry. I know it. We are. Holy cow. Now we can start the holy ball game. Holy cow. 
I knew I'd find you guys at a bar. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Harry. Where are, are you? you? Fine. How are you? Leave it to you, Steve, to come out here with the sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Sitting on the <laughs> marina with a cold bottle of Budweiser. <laughs> All beer sure. looks like Budweiser to Don't Harry. worry about it. We're just on the air, dear. We'll take... <laughs> Taking a picture. See? Harry? Have a seat. Yeah. What an affable guy. What's going on? Oh, nothing. We're just out here. We just got a free trip out here to see tonight's game, basically. Yeah. They're going to do it in three, right? Boy, I hope so. It'll be nice to get back. Well, well, as long as we're out here, though, wouldn't you like to stay? We're going to stay through Sunday anyway. Even if they win tonight, oh, yeah. we're going to stay the weekend. Yeah, that, you that's know, a given. You know anybody need some tickets? <laughs> I was going to ask you the same <laughs> no, thing. No, I got some. Really? There's yeah, a lot we, around now. We need some. Why are there so many tickets available? They don't think. First of all, they're apathetic out here compared to Chicago. It's California. They don't right. care. Well, and I don't believe it's that so much, but I think uh, I think losing the first two games is uh, one of the reasons why they're apathetic. Yeah. 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 Well, you guys look a little. You scalping them, Harry? In? No, I get just whatever's on the ticket. Four hundred bucks? Is that what's on the ticket? Hey, when'd you guys get in? You all got a pint of blood in each eye, I know. <laughs> well, wait a minute! I thought you were colorblind, couldn't see the red. I can always see red in the eye. <laughs> oh. I've been there before. So. Got a little coming on the way out. <laughs> we got it. We went to night. Los Angeles. Yeah. Wait, listen. You know it's three o'clock in Chicago. No, I don't yeah. care for them. Yeah. Besides, I only drink Budweiser, you know that. But in cups course. like these, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're near right. Mexico, so we... Sure. Have you been over to Tijuana yet? Uh, we're going tonight. <laughs> Got some seats reserved at a donkey show. <laughs> well, hey, listen. I, those pimples you have on your face, I suppose by tomorrow they won't be there. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. I was noticing those today myself. <laughs> uh. Les, what are you doing here? Making tapes? <laughs> Oh, you know, you can't live down reputation, can you? <laughs> Wind up the pitch. Spec three call. Fastball are you on blame, the Are you still blaming the Lee idiot one? <laughs> Lee who? Hey, he's now a coach for the Phillies, you know. And he blames you, you The for Portland that. Beavers manager. Well, I know, but he's now a coach for the Phillies. Has he been uh, promoted? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, we'll see him next year, then. Right. Well, thanks to you, Les. I guess you ruined I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be welcome in the locker room, Les. Huh? Yeah. Now, well, wait a minute. The Jer first thing he's going to say to you is this. On the tape or off? Yeah. <laughs> he vin he vindicated me in Jerome Holtzman's column in spring training. He said that if I wasn't there... Do you believe there, everything someone... you read in Jerry Holtzman's column? <laughs> Wait a minute. you got a point there. Yeah. Lee, wherever you are... Uh, 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 boy, I'll tell you what. Come on, let's fight your way out of this one. rained and everybody got wet. <laughs> <laughs> Who's supposed to be conducting this interview? I didn't uh, know it was an interview. Uh -huh. I thought it was a... Oh, you, you got him pinned up against the ropes here, Harry. Where's the photographer? Shouldn't they get a picture of this with all the... Yeah, really. The libation on the table? Yeah. Especially this good evidence here. Yeah. Now, personal well, question. Let us, uh, let us could, do this. We're uh, watching Len get pinned down now. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Les. Len. Len. Len's our lawyer. Oh, <laughs> no wonder. Well, do you go out of town without your lawyer? <laughs> uh, we shouldn't have, no, it turns out. Because I think that donkey show's going to get us in trouble. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, uh, so now you're just doing radio yeah, what's for the that playoffs, story? right? And well, I mean, don't make radio sound like it's that past. Oh, no, no, I didn't no, no, mean, no, mean it that way. There you go. It's There's a Budweiser. Bud hey, all right. <laughs> Cold, bud. I'll hey, I'll sir. You, I'll let you pour your own. Thank drink. you very much. I'll drink to your health. I've dunked everything else. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> All right. I'm Austin Yogar Ben from Berwyn. Sir, All you've already right, plugged your in. Now sit down. Uh, Did you tape the fry show? Again? John Garvin from Berwyn. John Garvin from yeah. Berwyn. How are you, Noel? Good. You, you need some tickets? I got some <laughs> extra tickets. Oh, we got them. Huh? They're giving them away here. Pay for them like I did. Are they good? Well, here's to you. All right. Here's to you. There's to the Cubs. We've got some, but they're not very good. Maybe we should you buy yours. you take the Jim Fry show yet? Or is that no, out no, we do that. Hey, it's only uh, five to one out here. Boy, I'd give anything to hear tonight's show. That'll Why? be something else. You're in a good mood. He should be in a real in calm mood. In a good mood. mood. you ever see me in a bad one? <laughs> no. I'm the only guy who pays two alimonies every month and laughs about it. <laughs> Most guys throw rocks at their ex-wives. <laughs> when you heard that. I think more of them now that I'm divorced from them than I do when I was married to them. <laughs> You were even in a good mood when Jerry Reinsdorf called you and Jimmy scum last year. Oh, oh Les, don't start trashing up I the mean, past like what? that. What's that? 
We got to do some commercials. We should go do those. Oh, you know, we're talking to Harry. Yeah, but what's a commercial? Wait. What's a commercial? I got to go pretty soon. Yeah, well, okay. why, do you, why do you spoil everybody's good day? Well, why, bring, <laughs> why bring up oh, guys like Ryan, Stor Ryan Horn and Nine Star for whatever the name Because <laughs> I wanted you to say that. And it came well, out what do you feel? I mean, where did they go this year? What's that problem? Hey, listen, I want to ask you something. He doesn't if, talk uh, about any other team. Hey, if Tony La Russa was manager of the year last year for the White Sox, what's he manager of this year? Ooh. 13 games Sixth in their place own division. team in the American League West. Listen, 13 games in their own division below 500. In their own division. Yeah, where did that turn sour and why did it turn sour? So Reinsdorf and Einhorn, your, your buddies. Uh, My buddies? Yeah, well. <laughs> relatively speaking, I hope. Hey, we don't have to know too much about you, Les, to know whose side you're on. Oh, no wait. Whoa. You know what side of town I'm from? Sure, I know what side of what town side? I'm from. What side? I don't know. The north side. What's that? Well, that's so is Ryan's are from the north He's side. He's from the wrong side of the tracks here, and he got hit by a train <laughs> crossing. Doesn't he live in Skokie? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, they're from New York, as I far as I'm he, concerned. I know he has his office in Skokie. <laughs> yeah, so did Bob Ursay. <laughs> Look at him. Les is still trying to dig yeah. out, but he it's not going to happen. How did you get less in this show? We don't know. And we inherited oh, it. You're sure slow up, slow it down with every time <laughs> we you talk. You know, actually, Harry, it's funny that this should be happening because we were fined yesterday... We had some of our salary taken away from us Why? for making fun of Les on the air. No really? kidding? I didn't <laughs> know that. Yeah. Well, well, he asked such We were very mean to him. because he, he, he plays. Have you ever heard him do his play-by-play? -play? He's got like a little play-by-play -play that he does into a tape recorder. That's what Harry was and, referring to. Well, yeah, Those maybe. Little tapes. Well, he's got so many different tapes. We actually got well, in trouble. You know, we got in nice trouble library. yesterday. You know what I call people like Les as eavesdroppers, not broadcasters. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Why eavesdropper? Well, because you, you have the tape machine there, and a guy is saying things Rich doesn't know that it's being recorded. Yeah, he knows it's being recorded. Not always he doesn't. Elian knew it was. Well, I don't know about Elian, but I've had it happen to me. Lynch well, you're knew talking it was. like Gary, I'm would talking never do to, that you, to you, yeah. and somebody Gary. else would have a microphone over here, mm -hmm. and I don't even see him. Yeah. Not for me you didn't have that happen. <laughs> Why are you so self-centered? <laughs> <laughs> me, me, I, I. Don't you ever, don't you ever take anything in a general scope? Ah, uh, yeah. This is what we needed. Oh, well, Harry. let's get on somebody else for a change. Uh, <laughs> who's next? Uh, You're too much. Uh, we like you, Harry. Well, listen, alive. fellas. Are you gonna now? Will you be when they do the World Series? Will you be a guest announcer? No, at no. some point. Because uh, don't they no. usually do that? Let you call a couple no, innings? No, it used to be that. Uh, uh, one announcer from each team would be represented along with the network announcer, but uh, they haven't done that for quite a while now, and uh, the local uh, the local announcers are just lost in the shuffle, which is all right. That's the way the game is played, and that's the way it is. Well, you had a, it was still a fun year. Oh, it's been a terrific year. It's still going on. Yeah. And the uh, ratings Steve, came we out. Steve, we got a ways to go yet, you know. The ratings came out for the... Uh you beat well, the, the pants yeah, off of us. The summer ratings came out, and you did very well in the afternoon on GM. So you might want to call. Are you still, no, what are you talking to me? You think I'll help you later? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Darn right. You might have gone up a point or two as we speak. <laughs> yeah, so you should be congratulated because that's attributed to you and the Cubs well, this summer. Thank you. I haven't seen any ratings. I, I never look at those things. Uh, uh, just so the check comes on the 1st and the 15th. You yeah, know. yeah. But uh, they came out today, and it isn't. I care about that money, but it's those X Y's. Yeah, that yeah. Have those have X it. ones. Yeah. <laughs> well, Harry, it's how the are 15. you doing in that department, Steve? Gary, I'm fine. I'm done. I don't have any. I had money. one, and I had to pay her for a while, but I'm done with that now, and I'm happily married for the second time. Oh, with, good. Uh, two and a half kids. Oh, that's great. So I'm doing okay. Yeah, you do look a little pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. Okay, thanks right, for One thing I can say about you. You're coming to the ballpark? You, yeah. yeah. Good. One yeah. thing I'd say about you, you're fair and you spread the wealth around. <laughs> are, those, are those good tickets? Maybe we should buy the tickets from you. I'm serious. Well, no, they're just $15 tickets. You know, they come at 15 and 20 so the $20 tickets would be better I than me. I think the, we got some 15 I got one $20 ticket if you want it. Ah, that's right. We'll just stay right. together. Well, I'm going to ask you one baseball question uh, before you go. Sure. Uh, Careful, Harry. He might be taping this. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically, if the Padres win tonight, would you come back with Sutcliffe Saturday or save him for Game 5 and give uh, Sanderson the start? No, I'd come back with Sutcliffe Saturday because then I would have two chances because that would enable me to come back with Trout if I wanted to. And uh, But I think that uh, the way Jim Fry was thinking before it started, 
he was going to save Sutcliffe for the fifth game if necessary. Otherwise, he'd have him well rested for the start of the World Series in Detroit next Tuesday. Yeah, I guess we can count the Royals out. Well, you know, 